ETEC Power Management was created in 1999 as an engineering based company and as of 2011 has grown in five countries in the European marketplace, having formed from the ground up in each case. Focusing initially on UPS generator and switchgear solutions, it gradually added DC systems, fire protection, cooling, rack solutions and in-house developed SCADA software, all the while gaining expertise required to offer the design and implementation of complete data centre solutions, incorporating some or all of these products and more. An extension of this has been the development of the complete turnkey data centre, incorporating precast concrete containers delivered in custom-made sections and assembled on site. The server room has a raised floor and rack cabinets assembled with cold oil containment and with power supplied by A and B wall mounted distribution panels. The adjoining room also has a raised floor and contains of switch gear, UPS, downflow units and fire suppression system. Lastly we have a dedicated generator room with appropriate level of sound attenuation. On the roof we have the chiller and pump house. The design being demonstrated was created using eTech's own unique Perl software which is a 3D interactive virtual engineering application. So that's a brief overview of eTech and the service it brings to the marketplace as a solutions provider. We'll now take a closer look at one particular area of eTech innovation which is the aforementioned Perl software. The following is a screen recording of a demonstration of Perl Design Studio showing the approach to designing an installation and importantly the information you can extract from it. So we start by drawing our building beginning with just a single line approximation. For simplicity here we have just two adjoining rectangular rooms but there's no limit to the amount of rooms, the shape of the rooms or even the number of floors. Once we have the basic outlines created we then use parametric dimensioning to scale everything correctly. And now we switch to 3D mode. We have some default wall floor and ceiling materials which we can set about changing as required. We have some standard building features which are fully configurable and accurately positioned using the parametric dimensioning like we've seen previously. That's a circular pillar. Could also have been square, rectangular and numerous other shapes. A door is another example of these features. We also have features more directly relating to data centre design, a raised floor being an important one, with various adjustable options like steps, ramps and railings. Just to show you in walk mode, we can travel through the building, manually opening and closing doors as we go. This is not simply a picture of a floor. Individual tiles can be lifted with a single click at their location in the scene, and look underneath. We can easily create and position tile cutouts for routing of cables or pipes through. And we can also swap to perforated tiles where we need them, if we have underfloor cooling. Next we look at the IT cabinet configurator, where we can very easily drag and drop the different units into position. UPS, battery, distribution units, equipment racks, you can select different sizes and in row cooling units perhaps. Then select from various options relating to cable management, aisle configuration, distribution breakers etc. And then we can drop the whole assembly into place in one go. Now we can start to look around, open doors, remove various modules, all very interactive. And we can look at units in isolation orbit around and zoom and we can easily select and view documentation relating only to that particular unit and without having to go searching. We can do the same with individual modules isolate, orbit, the specification automatically appears. We now return to the scene. In the configurator we selected hot aisle containment so a roof was automatically added to the hot aisle with a door at either end. You wouldn't normally exit through a cabinet, but just to show we have a little more freedom in the virtual world. We now place a generator as another example. We can click on it and bring up a list of the main parts. Click on any one of them and we zoom directly to it. Or we could have clicked on documentation and brought up information relating just to that particular part as we've seen before. From the bottom of the screen we bring up a bill of materials 
showing all the equipment that we've added to the scene up until now with prices and quantities. You can see as you click on each part that it highlights in the scene. We now go to the export tab where we can set up various different views of the installation that we might want to show and then capture them. And that gives us images that we can extract into a document. Next, before creating a layout drawing of the scene, we add in any dimensions we want to show. As you'd expect, the values are added automatically based on the way things have been positioned. You can also add in any text or labels you want to have. Once that's done, we hit the Create PDF button and we see our bill of materials with pricing, our layout drawing with dimensions, and the images we captured earlier all-in-one PDF document. Finally we go back to 3D and into orbit mode. We can turn off the drawing pane as we don't need it anymore and we can spin the whole building around. We can turn off visibility of the walls which lets us see under the raised floor and generally anything that may be obscured from view. That completes our demonstration of ETEX Perl Design Studio.